Inspired Travelers and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be exploring Nashville for 24 hours and checking out all that the city has to offer. I traveled here with my mom and brother and we rented a convertible for the day. We woke up around 3 a.m. to catch our flight from the Boston airport to Nashville. The flight duration was around 2 hours and 40 minutes, but when we arrived in Nashville, there was an hour time difference. Our plane landed around 7.30 and we were in Nashville ready to explore by 8.30 and had tickets for the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum for 9 o'clock. You aren't allowed to take any videos inside the museums in Nashville, but we were able to see everything within an hour. After checking out the museum, we had to wait until our Studio B tour time, so we decided to check out the Nashville Pride Parade. I loved seeing everyone so happy and brought together in such a fun way. Our trolley bus was running behind schedule due to the parade, but we made it on at 12 o'clock, only 30 minutes behind schedule, so it wasn't that bad. The bus brought us to the Studio B, where famous artists like Elvis and Dolly recorded. Again, no video was allowed inside, but it was such a cool experience. This took a little under an hour, and the bus brought us back to the museum by 1 o'clock. lunch so we headed to the Florida Georgia Line House restaurant located three blocks from the museum. It was easy walking distance and walking in to get a table. The food was delicious. After eating we did walk right across the street to the Johnny Cash Museum which also took around an hour to check everything out but there was no video allowed in here so eventually we did make it back to our hotel and we stayed at the Graduate Nashville Hotel.
this hotel and this room were absolutely beautiful. Just look at this bed, it was so cozy. After resting in our room, it was time to head to our reservations upstairs at the rooftop restaurant, The White Limousine. It was now five o'clock. We ordered a bunch of desserts, and in order to get a reservation here, you must book it out as far in advance as possible. I had to wake up at two weeks before the day I wanted to reserve at 1 a.m. Eastern time, which is a little ridiculous, but I wanted to see the hype of the restaurant. You do have to have a reservation to check out the pool deck, which is very unique with a giant Dolly Parton head and big pink frilly umbrellas. It was absolutely beautiful, but it was pretty crowded. checked out more of the hotel and eventually went back into downtown Nashville. We walked around until sunset and walked over the pedestrian bridge. It was truly an adventure for the books. We did go back to the hotel around 9 o'clock and unwinded before bed because we had an early flight home in the morning. Trips like these may seem wild but they are so important. I not only learned so much about Nashville but I also learned a lot about myself. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and follow for more travel videos.